Hi, Tony Scott, my big brother. Hi, Ridley. How you all doing? Ridley Scott, how you all doing? You probably know us best from our films Hi. like the uh, Aliens, the uh, Labourers, and that. You know. But you probably don't know we're also painters and decorators. Hi, because there's, there's fuck all money in film, I tell you that. The, start. the bottom's fallen out of that market a yeah, long time yeah. ago, you know. But, you know, people are always asking us, how do you get started in the films? For some reason, oh. they, they never ask how do you get started in the painting and decorating business. I don't know why. But, you know, they're always asking about the films, aren't they? Ah, because we were chatting about the films the other day, like, and um, we were chatting about it, and I thought I'd made about five films. Right. I looked at that internet movie database, don't you see it? I turned out I made 28 of the fucking things. I know, that's a candy number of fucking <laughs> films, that is, isn't it? Anyway, people was always asking us, like I say, how did you get started in the films? Well, it was a bit of a story, actually. What it was, it was just a case of mistaken identity. What it was, I was painting this lovely half-timid building, a bakery, and this fella comes up to us, he thinks I'm a, he thinks I'm a director for some reason, he keeps asking me where to put lights and cameras. Anyway, I was too polite to put him right. And uh, at the end of the day, I've had directed a, a groundbreaking advert for Hovis Bread. I thought he was the director. I was a director of the baseball cap. Because in Hollywood, you know, they wear baseball caps, don't the directors? I, we wear baseball caps to keep the Patriots out of our eyes. The real director, get this, the real director, he had the shits, he couldn't I, get the pan, that's why he couldn't make it, poor yeah. fella. Anyway, we thought no more about it, we'd drawn a line out of the whole affair. Thought that's the end of it. But then two weeks later, we get a call from this fella in um, La La La, oh, you know, Los Angeles, and uh, he says, "I've seen your advert for Horvis Bread." Ooh. Well, we thought that's it. The game's up. But no, he fucking loves it. <laughs> and would I like to come on to La La Land and direct this? Film? What was it? The Aliens. The, the Aliens. The aliens. Yeah, have you seen this fucking film, The Aliens? You're a filmmaker. Have you seen this film, The Aliens? Hi, it's a fucking load of nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly. I've said, what do I know about directing a film? Nothing. Honestly, nothing. Fuck all. But then I've, done it. I've remembered the company motto. Right. We will never let you die. Right. It's written on the side of the van. It's written on the side of the van. It's outside on the gold over road. Right, you can go and see it. So, the Renault can go. Right. And uh, so I thought, we can't let the fella down. I tell you what. You hold the fort here, I'll get out to La La Land and direct this fucking <laughs> Aliens. How hard can it be to direct a feature film? Well, you should see this fucking Aliens film, honestly, mate. Get yeah, up it. Honestly, it's about a truck in space with some eggs on it. <laughs> there's, um, there's, a, there's a last guy on about an underwear with a cat. There's, it makes no sense whatsoever, honestly. There's a, t there's a bloat on a table with a worm coming out of his stomach. It makes no sense, honestly, it's nonsense. I was that sure it was going to be a flop. I got straight on the phone, we brought, I got on the phone to you, didn't I? I got on the phone, I said, Tony, you know that job, retiring that abattoir in Scunthorpe? Fucking take it, man, honestly. Because this fucking aliens is going down the pan, I guarantee it. Next thing I know, it's a massive fucking hit. Honestly. Shows how much I know. So there we are, like, retiring his abattoir, and the phone goes again. It's uh, the, uh, the fellow, the same American. Same fellow. Family. American, nice fellow. Yeah, still but, American. American. But, you know, nice fellow. <laughs> and he says, Is that Ridley? I said, No, it's his little brother, Tony. Right. He says, Well, does Ridley fancy directing this sort of film we've got called Fuck the, uh, the Top Guns? I said, Look, ask him yourself. I'm not saying, Give us the phone here, give us the phone here, mate. Pass the phone over here. I said, Mate. No offence, but you're taking the piss, honestly. <laughs> you are, you're taking the piss, something wrong. I can't direct all these films I've got to pay and decorate and uh, film to run. You know, <laughs> listen, I've got a whole abattoir to retile, you know. That's a lot of grouting. Do you know how much grouting a whole abattoir is? Because grouting, I don't even know this, ladies and gentlemen, grouting is an art form, you know. It's not just a craft, it's an art form. And I was a two-man company, I'm the one who grouts. He's the grout expert, right? Oh, he cannot grow. I cannot grow. Honestly, I'm He's the only grow. I cannot grow. I've said, mate, what we'll do is, the company motto is, we'll not let you down. What I'll, I'll find a way through it. I'll send my little brother out to direct this film. I'll hold the fort. Yes, yeah, so you've oh, got out the la la la, haven't you? I'll go out. It gives me a few tips and pointers, like, and I go out to this desert, and there's planes flying all over the shop for this Top Guns film. And uh, the, the hero for this film they've got is this little dwarf homosexual <laughs> film. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> And the heroine, like, the loving dress, is this, like, giant blonde lesbian woman stuck in the board all over the shop. I thought, oh my god. And there's that many planes, ladies and gentlemen. You can't tell who's the Germans, who's the RAF. It's <laughs> nonsense. I'm straight on the floor. I says, oh my god, this film's going down the pan. I know, you've guessed it. It's a multi million dollar fucking plot busting hit, isn't it? Shows how much we then. Fuck all, apparently. Yeah, so since then we've been rushed off feet with right. the filmmaking and the PD work. It's been stuff. non stop, hasn't it? You know, 45 years has flown by. It's only one less than two. Um, but, uh, you know, over the years in Hollywood, we've, I tell you what, we've picked up a few few stories, haven't we? You know, a bit of a uh, few tales, a bit of insider gossip. 
And we thought we'd come here tonight and, you know, she had a few, because you look like this sort of pig blue, you know, like a bit of inside. Would you like to hear a few, you know, inside of Hollywood bits of tip bits and gossip? Yeah. Yeah. Go with the fuck word, the rest of you couldn't give a fuck, but, you know. Oh, no, seriously, would you like to hear some gossip, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Right, I would. Right, here it goes, get I'll this. Tell you what, you know that, uh, this is all true. Get it's all this. true. God's word. You know that uh, Harrison Ford fellow? Right, the actor. He's still a carpenter. Right. Yeah, yeah. He's right now. That, he's, he's next door right now. Where he's hanging a fire bill. Right. <laughs> he's gonna earn some money somehow. Put all, money money in films. all money in films, you know. Tell you what, you know that. Get this. Denzel Washington. He invented Angry Birds. It's true. <laughs> it's true. That's how he makes all his money. He makes no money from films. You know that Rutger Hauer. Yeah. It's a benefits cheat. It's right. fucking true. Dirty Rent has got a bad back. Has he fucked? Has he fucked? We've got pictures of him playing golf. Right. <laughs> nice fella. Get this, Liz. This is all true. Oh, Honest to yeah, This is God's truth. Helen the Bottom Carter played the little boy in Kez. You should watch them film side by side. You'll see it. Check it out. Know. Check it out on Blu-ray, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a, it's a, not a word of a lie. It's a God's honest truth, honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, it's been lovely people, haven't they? Oh, tell you what, we've got to get off. Because uh, we're painting the painting the toilets. So wash your glad wash your glad rags, ladies, in the toilets. Yeah. Fill the toilets. That's wet paint in there. It's high gloss. Right. <coughs> One God. Anyway, uh, you know, people, ready to go. people are always asking us, have you got any regrets? You know, 45 years in Hollywood, have you got any regrets over the years? Not really. Not not really, really. No. Except maybe we should have charged more than £5.50 an hour. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we're close to ourselves, anyway. You've been a lovely audience. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah.